The USB ASP is used to burn a bootloader into microcontrollers. I built an Arduino homemade compatible that required a flash memory to be added that runs at 3.3 volts. If I use the conventional USB ASP on the market to burn the bootloader, the 5 volts may kill all the flash memory. I learned from the Arduino Boy community forum that we can modify the USB at 5 volts to function also at 3 volts. So let's try and I'll share the instruction. For example, take a look at this one which is manufactured in China. At the back, they got a jumper that you can switch between 5 volts and 3.3 volts. But actually that jumper only supplies different voltage to the VCC. However, all the other pins, MOSI, Reset, Clock and MISO, they are still running in 5 volts. Hence it's a chance to damage your microcontroller which may be running in 3 volts. This is the schematic of the USB ASP, those manufacturers in China. The core of it is an 80 mega X unit. So when you use the um, jumper to switch between 3 volt and 5 volt, what it actually does is just to map the VCC voltage on the output to 5 volt or 3 volt without changing the power supply to the 80 mega X U. So the 80 mega X still runs in 5 volts and all the signals coming from the MOSI, MISO, reset pins, clock pins are still running in 5 volts. Hence it will uh, cause a damage to your chip if it can only support maximum 3 volts. To fix this problem, we just need to follow a 4 step modification process. To change the circuit boards so it can select between 3 volts and 5 volts. Where I have the, the X means this circuit needs to be cut at that point. And the blue lines, these blue lines are the additional links we need to make so that the AT Mega X power can be driven by this jumper switch. So when this jumper switch is 5 volts, the AT Mega will be powered by 5 volts. But if the uh, switch is at uh, 3 volts, then it will be powered by 3 volts. The modification start from here, the USB VCC output from the USB cable goes through a fuse. And then from there, we need to cut the connection so that the 5 volts will go into the 3 volts regulator, AMS1117 only. So this is a 3 volts regulator. Once it enters the V in pin of the 3 volt regulator, the V out pin will come out as 3.3 volt. And then we can then select whether it's a 5 volt directly from the USB power or 3.3 volt uh, after regulated by this regulator. And then this middle pin selects the outcome of that decision we put into the jumper. And then it will go into the VCC pin of the output of the USB ASP which is called the ICSP uh, connector and as well as through this additional blue line, this additional link to power all the rest of the circuit including the AT Mega X, right? So all this red line is for the power. It goes into the AVCC, goes into the VCC and then the whole AT Mega chip will be powered by 3.3 volts. And of course all the signaling pin that comes out of that MOSI, SCK, MISO, reset, all this will be 3.3 volt. So by this modification, it allows us to successfully switch between 3 volt and 5 volt. First, let's test your USB ASP to see if it can automatically switch between 3 volt and 5 volt. And then you don't need this modification, right? So this is the pin layout that you're seeing will be hooking up to multimeter. Set the multimeter to 10 volts and then follow the pin layout to test the voltage. So now I have put the jumper at 3.3 volts. Let me plug in the USB connection, power up uh, the USB ASP. Then let me put the, the negative 
end of the multimeter to ground and the positive end to the pin coming from the top fourth. Uh, you see it's running at 5 volts even though the jumper is selected at 3.3 volts. So that means whether you switch it to 5 volts or 3 volts, your AT maker will still source a voltage of 5 volts as its power source, hence all the signals are 5 volts. There are different versions of USB ASP on the market, but they follow similar schematics as what I have shown you. So just follow the schematic, find out where you need to do the modification. For easy explanation, we are showing the front and the back of the same USB ASP on the same chart. However, in reality, you are going to only need one USB ASP and you just modify the front and then the back at the same time. First, we need to. power the AT mega. And then we connect a wire from 5 volts to the fuse so this this USB 5 volt output through the fuse will connect to the 5 volt that we can select through this jumper. And then we connect the middle of the jumper to this trace here that will be used to power the AT Mega X depending on whether we choose 5 volts or 3 volts on the jumper. So after these four modifications, your board will be able to switch, really switch between 5 volts and 3.3 volts. So first, we are going to cut this chase here, this one. After cutting, we'll use the multimeter to measure the connectivity. It should be disconnected between the two points. Next, we need to cut the 5 volt trace at the back of the circuit board. Again, use the multimeter to test that it's disconnected between the two points. And then use the 0.3 millimeter laminator wire. Some people call them magnet wire or insulator wire. And just use that to connect the new additional links together. The first one is between the middle of the jumper to the 5 volt trace.
pin one with the pin one here. Okay. Seems the power is okay, otherwise it won't power up. Oops, power up. Then we need to put it. Now let's try to test whether we can program with the uh, AT Tiny 85. Well, let's first test the 5 volt jumper, 5 volt, and let's see whether 5 volt works first. And we will start. Hello. Okay, it's writing, writing. And reading back to verify. Okay, it's done. Completed. Okay, next. Let's try to program it in free world. Let's switch the jumper to the free world. Free world. See whether it works. Okay. Now let's try again. Wow, free world also works. Writing. And reading back at three words. So the AT Tiny 85 is able to be programmed using three words or five words. Let's test the AT Tiny 85 after the flash. Okay, seems to be working fine. Okay, great. 